Alright, this is Sammy again with 4601 Lab 4. This is like the 100th time I tried to record this. Uh, so let's get started immediately. So, uh, run dev. Uh, so we're going to see that this thing, those are the errors I mentioned from last time. Uh, this is not actually a problem. It will eventually actually read these pages and you'll see at the end. Uh, sometimes it's slow with the first initial, but that's you know, a surprising amount actually. But yep, you can see. It's crawled a thousand pages. The crawl is complete. We've added everything to the database. Uh, we are now executing the, index, the indexing operation. This one is kind of slow, but it, yeah, you see it will get there. Uh, let's jump into this. So let's search for N0. You can see we've got 10 results. It's kind of ugly, but you can see score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So how am I calculating this? You're probably wondering. Well. Uh, so based on kind of two things, which is the title and the body, I'm giving precedence to the title, at, or I'm giving a lot relatively of precedence to the title, and I'm giving slightly less precedence to the body. Uh, so if you find the query in the body, that's kind of good. Find the query in the title, that's really good. You're going to get a really high score. Like, for example, we see here N0, which is the term I searched, it was in the title, and we've got a score of like 13 point a whole lot compared to like the next highest, which is like 5.5. Because it links to N0. Uh, okay, so let's try searching something that shouldn't exist, which is going to be my name, which I've already done because I'm very vain. Uh, so you can see pretty low scores, but they're not zero, which is kind of weird, or at least you would think. Uh, but the way I have this implemented uh, when we're actually like searching through the indices is well, I know in advance everything starts with N dash in the title. Which means I can always find that because Ecl or not eclipse lunar lunar elastic lunar, uh, it doesn't show you results if their score is zero. So I've kind of found a way to make sure that nothing ever shows a score of zero. And because there's at least ten documents in this network, I'm always going to get back ten. So this is how I've kind of gotten around that requirement. Uh, obviously, if you wanted to do it like I guess properly. What you could do is you could see, okay, was my results less than 10? If so, uh, let's look through the database for uh, anything with a URL that wasn't present in the uh, results I got back from the index. And then we're just going to take its data and you know construct it into an object that looks like what we're seeing here. Because we are actually saving in the database. I should probably show this really. Uh, refresh it. Everything that you see in that uh, index thing it is being stored in the database. Uh, so you could actually construct it from the database, the, the object, if you couldn't find find 10 of them. Uh, but let's, uh, I think that is the functionality all covered. Uh, we're going to guess do one more search. Uh, finding something in the body, right? We're going to do Apple, I guess, Ooh, in all caps, no, small caps. Uh, yeah, so you can see different results this time. There's still 10 of them. A lot of things, I guess, don't have apples. Everything's got really low scores. Uh, so let's talk about the lab reflection. So to load the data from the database or uh, to the index, I'm executing dot find for all the documents and then just indexing them like that. As you can see, that was really slow and I'll touch on that in um, the last question. Uh, as for the indexed fields, I'm indexing the body and the title and I'm using the URL as the reference. Uh, for the search score, like I mentioned before, we're giving extra priority to the title, giving a little priority to the body, but that's... Uh, the like summation of like all the tampering I've done with the with lunars with lunars searching ability. Uh, oh, actually, uh, no, there is one more thing. Uh, it also I am. Uh, what is the option called? It's well, I'm not gonna look for it. It's like hidden away. But it's it's the one where you like you're giving more priority to exact matches. So if like when I did n zero for example, like wow that was an exact match on the title, so the score was crazy high. Uh, so there is that. Uh, I didn't write that down, but I will add it in the zip file version of this. Uh, and for question D, so I already mentioned dot find is really, really slow when you're trying to index every single document. And that means this is not very scalable. There are a couple of things you can do to make this more scalable. You could actually make use of term document in the incidence matrices, uh, with, like with inverted indices or whatever you want. Uh, or you can also do the more performant, but 
it's the lazy way you could do dot find dot lean that would speed up the find because you're not getting back all the excess stuff mongoose gives you from find uh there is another secret way though you can make this performant uh, and that is just indexing it, not from the database, but from the RAM, because I have not changed the implementation from last lecture where I store everything in RAM and then add it to the database. So initially, until I like actually read the lab reflection questions, I was actually just indexing it from RAM, and I, was, I thought it was pretty cool because it was fast. I still think it's pretty cool, it's just kind of cheating, so I've removed it. You can see I'm doing it here now, which is grabbing all the things from the database and slowly indexing them. Uh, but yeah, that is the lab. Uh, have some more fun grading this. Peace.